Hello? I'm in the middle of a podcast, mama. You heard me? All right, I love you. I'll call you right back. This wicked shit that go on, so forth and so on. Money can't amount to no true love, a soul gone. New nights and lost pawns, cold nights toast on. Effing taking 20% off like a coupon. That's just me, I'm a loner. I mean, I've been crossed hella times and shit. So that shit kind of made me like that. I love a nigga from a distance. What you look for in a female? I don't even know the answer to that question. <laughs> y'all look for a lot. I'm picking yourself. All the big girls, I love y'all. You know what I mean? BBWs and all the cougars, because y'all show love too. I love all y'all, you feel me? Hey, they want wall with ho. What's up, y'all? That's the Hood Analyst Podcast, where we talk about that real hood. Hmm. Subscribe to the mother channel, man. We drop videos on YouTube, full length podcast every and Friday. So hit that like button every Friday. And uh, um, all other platforms, we dropping daily clips. They hilarious. Go check it out. Be on some wild shit. It's it's funny, you know. We 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 trying to keep the value and the entertainment for y'all. So. Today, I got a very special guest. He's our first artist on the show. And I've been hearing a lot about him for a while now. Um, my, my homie Eugene, I don't know if he, he might remember him, but he said yeah, he, used to, yeah, I know you. he used to run with you back in the day. Uh, Twin right there. That's, that's yeah, my guy. I, I grew up with him. So he told me about you. I was with Shorty in the car the other day and she was playing your shit. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm interviewing him this weekend. So yeah. it, you, you, you putting in work. So... We got my guy A Pressure, man. Big what's shout out. I'm gonna let him introduce south. himself. I niggas know what's up with it, man. King Slizzy. Get busy south. Yes, sir. Ski. All right. So we're gonna start it out like this. Introduce yourself and tell us your story. A nice, real quick, like where you from and a, a little quick background. Hours. A little quick background. <laughs> I should have taken hours. Yo, I'm Sharetta's son. I grew up in Patterson. I was born and born in hospital. I was homeless most of my life. Went to jail for like eight and a half years. And I came home and just turned it up. I started living a crazy life. You heard? As you should, as you should. Touching a lot of money, taking a lot of trips. As you should. So um I wanted to ask you before we, you know, we we shoot the shit and really get into it. Am I allowed to say Sliz? Yeah, hell yeah, you're allowed so, to say So so I can call you're in you in front sl- of me. I can call you Sliz. Yeah, you could call me Sliz. I, I you ain't done no bullshit before. Nah. Yeah, you good then. Copy, copy. So um, we can start it off with a little light. What got you into rap music? Like when you was a kid, who you was listening to growing up? What 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 got you into rap? Oh, uh, that shit was always in the household. You feel me? Like my older brother played rap. I mean, my father got me like actually rapping and shit though. That's probably the only thing he ever gave me and shit. He taught me how to rap like Slick Rick back in the day and shit. Like look at these, look at these, look at then after that, I just started progressing and shit. But what got me doing it was <clears throat> I went to school. I had wrote a little rap and shit. I went to school and shit. You know what I mean? The bitches was fucking with me a little bit. I just kept rapping and shit. Okay, all right. I liked it. All right. I, I, I can relate. Um, what's your process when you're making music? You know, what's you know how on a plane, I think it's called the itinerary or I, I don't yeah, remember itinerary. whatever it's called, but the shit that you you bring with you, what to the studio. What what's your process? I don't know. It'd be different times. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of my music be uh, you know, like a direct relation to my real life. So that should just be what I'm going through. You feel what I'm saying? Like bro was just talking about KOS. You know what I mean? Pop my shit. At a time right there, I was up, you feel me? Crazy. So I just really popped my shit. And I was going through like, you know, beef and shit like that in the city. So it was like a lot going on. I just went in there like, man, I'm gonna make an anthem. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll be going through shit or, you know, I'm, you know, stressing about my earth or whatever I get in the booth. That shit just be in motion. Sometimes, you know, the engineer could just play that beat. You wasn't even expecting to rap. You dig what I'm saying? But that beat just touched you. You like, nah, I got to get on this shit right now. Yeah, that's how all the real rappers know. It, it's a feeling and it's just a feeling in your spirit. When you yeah. hear something, you just, you just got to go in. Yeah, I just like that. Should so, be a different process. Speaking of KOS... You got um some lyrics in there. I'm the leader of the motherfucking South. You big? You dig? Yeah. Um, 
What What do you mean by that? Uh, it, it, elaborate. I'm a big bro. You know what I mean? I'm the leader of the hood. South Patterson. I don't want to say South Patterson, but yeah, South Patterson. I fuck with my Arabic niggas too, so. I mean, but my hood, though, my, I'm from Jackson Street. I mean, okay. I mean, school eight up the street. We used to be divided at one point and shit. I used to actually beef with them when I was a kid and shit. Uh, so when I came home, shit, I'm like, man, all this shit got to be under one umbrella. You feel me? All this shit just the South. Like, it ain't, can't be Jackson, School 8, Spring. You know what I mean? Because we already small as hell as it is. Niggas dividing, you know what I mean, amongst that. So I'm like, yo, this shit just the South. Then I just, I don't know, I just emerged like that. Okay, okay. So you've been, you been out here since a young nigga and you've been away from the town for a while for, you know, certain reasons and all that. Yeah. When you, the last recent time that you touched down and you seen how the streets was, because I'm I'm a little up in age with you there too. Yeah. And a lot of things have changed. Can you give the young niggas a street code to live by? What's, what's your street code? What's your street code? I don't know. It's a lot of them shits, you feel me? Uh, you know, I just stand, I know what you're getting into. I mean, that's it. That ain't nothing else really. The whole rat and the whole... Other shit that just come with being outside in the field. You just got to learn that shit as you go. But I just always try to tell people, just understand what you're getting into. That's it. You want to do something, know the consequences before you do the shit. Because you know, sometimes you'll be doing some shit that ain't even worth it. I mean, you taking some shit from a nigga that's $400. You facing 10 years if he tell. That shit don't add up. 10 years, 400. You feel what I'm saying? Shit don't be. You know yeah, what I mean? I, so I hear you. I just got to kind of, you know what I mean? Just an education thing. It's I think probably- education lacking in the hood and shit a lot. Got you. It's probably some crazy stories that you heard when you was uh in the streets and 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 being locked down. You probably heard some shit and think in your head like, "Damn, you you ain't here for that long, doing for that." Like, is there any crazy stories that you've heard or? Yeah, hell yeah, it's a lot of shit. You know, niggas get locked up for anything, man. I can't really tell you because you know at that time whatever that person was thinking about that shit justified and made sense to him. You feel me? Absolutely. You know what I mean, some niggas would be like, "I ain't killing for no bitch," but you know he might have felt. However, it's heartfelt, and that's what he did. And some niggas might go for money. You feel what I'm saying? So it depends on what you value in life. You know what I mean? You value love. You value money. I seen some niggas do some stupid shit, though, like go to jail for not doing nothing, like shooting in the air and doing stupid shit like, like that. Like hard time for shooting in the air? <laughs> Nigga did like three years for shooting in the air. Damn. Damn. Niggas be having kids, too. And, like, I think it's like, it's no structure. It's no... I, I respect the fact that you're there for your kids because uh, it, it's no structure. It's no boundaries. And, and a lot of the young niggas will grow up and think that shit is okay and they never they untouchable. I remember when I was a young nigga, I felt like I was untouchable. Like, yeah. shit, nothing could happen. And you need your father to check you because that, that, that shit will put you in a bad situation. Yeah. I mean, I think they program us to think like that, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that should have put... You supposed to be lying hearted. You know what I mean? We natural born leaders. Like, I never tell my young niggas, like, yo, be scared. Like, be lying hearted. My nigga, you only got one life. Just don't be stupid. You feel what I'm saying? I don't ever want nobody to feel like they untouchable. You know what I mean? Because, you know, everybody could get touched. But the only thing you're going to fear is God at the end of the day. Anything else come with it. You know what I mean? I'd have been shot, stabbed, all kind of shit. I'm still living. That shit ain't... That shit ain't make me... uh. Timid, you feel what I'm saying? So, how would you say growing up where we from affected your life? Like, is there anything that you you have to unlearn or anything that you didn't learn and you just learn it now? How how did growing up in the hood affect your life? Um, I mean, shit, I don't know. Like, that's a hard question if you think about it. Like, <clears throat> cause I won't, I never lived no other life. So I can't really say, like, if I grew up in Beverly Hills or some shit, how my life would have been, you feel me? Can you so, see the difference between those niggas? Because, you know, you 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 putting in work. You outside. You you all yeah. over the U.S. Can you see the difference between a nigga that grew up and had the silver spoon and and, and you? Can you see the, the, the difference? Yeah, uh, I definitely see differences. I see similarities, too. You feel me? Um, I think that in, in Patterson, uh, our biggest thing is that you got to kind of realize that this just one place. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you born here, but you don't got to die here. You don't even got to stay here. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and I think that that's about it. Like, you know, when you fly in and shit and you care, it's like we live in a factory. 
<laughs> nah, for real though. Like you fly other places, like you fly like, you know what I mean? Atlanta, Cali, shit like that. You see like open fields, trees and hills and valleys and peaks and rivers. And when you get to Jersey, it's literally nothing but gates and factories. Like on the way down, just gates and factories. There's no open fields. There's nothing. It's like we live next to, you know, we literally do live next to just warehouses. So it's yeah. like the concrete jungle. That's the shit we grew up in. You feel me? Absolutely. I love where I'm from, though. It should make it should make you, you know. Absolutely. Man, I love where I'm from. This should be different. You know, it, it, it made me who I am. And uh, I, I, I could see the difference in um, meeting people that's not from the street. And uh, what I hate is I, I feel like I'm a good reader of, of people. So I hate when somebody that's not from the streets act like they are from the streets. Because everybody who is from the streets don't want to be from the streets. We 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 done with that shit. We did it because we had to. And niggas is jumping into it. And yeah, yeah like, how, how that I make see you what feel? You're saying. How that nah, make- you know, word up. So look, right? Some niggas, some niggas have to go in the street. Uh, and this is just growing up in the hood. Some niggas have to go in the street. Like me, Absolutely. I had to go in the street. Right? Absolutely. I was homeless for, you know, at a young age, just sleeping in hallways, just bouncing from school to school and shit like that. So I was literally had to like go trap and do shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? But we was always poor as far as I could fucking remember and shit. But, you know, it was just how it is. But I know niggas that was in the hood though, who mother bought them sneakers, who they had a car. They didn't have to get in the street. They just from the hood. They ain't have to come outside, but they wanted to come outside because that was the validation of being hanging with niggas. You dig what I'm saying? Like, we had to trap to feed ourselves. But they mom, they was straight in the household. You know what I mean? I know a lot of niggas like that from the hood. Niggas was always fly. They always had the new jerseys on, the new sneakers, the new jeans. You feel what I'm saying? They parents was taking care of them. A lot of them niggas jumped in the street just because they was around and shit. You know what I mean? And some niggas ain't have no, you know. Uh, I had talked to this lady and shit. She was like, sometimes your only choice is a bad choice. You feel what I'm saying? You know, if people don't understand that shit. It'd be like, look, I'm either do this or do this. You know what I mean? They both bad choices. You just got to weigh them out. Absolutely. So with, with that being said, you you see people that jump into the street that don't necessarily have to. What do you think is the reason behind that? I would say, like, it's it's the, it's a kind of fucked up mentality with a lot of shorties that's, that's from where we from. Like, they love them a street nigga. And there's nothing wrong with that. But like you said, you got to know what you're getting into before you get into it. So yeah. why do you think niggas want to be street? Like, they want to be from the hood so bad when they got a mom, a dad, a crib that they'll let them stay there till they 30 if they want being yeah. lazy and playing video games. They got the, they got the shit we working for. Yeah. And they, they jump in the streets. Why do you think, why do you think they do that? Validation. You know what I mean? Being in the street, being, you know, from the hood, being in the street, come with some shit. Some niggas do it for different reasons. Some niggas jump in this shit because they want respect. Some niggas jump in this shit because the girls like it. So that's, you know, some niggas do everything the girls like. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, for real. That's just how it is. Nigga, the girls like you. You know what I mean? Your hair die, niggas die in the hair. If girls like it, niggas is doing shit just for those. Some niggas, you know what I mean? Like I said, do it for respect, validation. You got to think, right? When you growing up in the hood, whether you cater to, whether you got the financial uh, stability to not hustle or not, uh, we all young men. None of us know each other. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and I'm saying yourself. Like, uh, as a young man, you don't know yourself when you're growing up. You're trying to find yourself. You're trying Absolutely. to figure out exactly what path you're going to go. You feel me? I mean, to be honest, some niggas be 35 and still don't know they self. You feel what I'm saying? So that shit just Talk come with, uh, you know what I mean? Like, it come with maturity and they just come with growth. But a lot of people don't know themselves. So they go outside, they try to find themselves. They try to fit in. You know what I mean? And that's when the shit fall apart because you got some niggas that might want to be killers, but they not built for that lifestyle. Might Some niggas want to be into this and they not, but they try to find themselves. You feel me? You know I mean? So I'm sure you got probably a small few of people that you, you know, call your, your brothers that you, that you lock down with, like, that's loyal to you, if that still exists. Yeah. How do you how do you scope those people out and be like, yo, I, I I see what you're doing, I like what you about, you stand on a certain code, come rock with me, and you know we we could build together. Do you still <clears throat> think that exists? And if it does, how do you how do you determine if that person could be a part of your circle? Ain't no rocking with me. I'm gonna be honest with you. Ain't you don't see me around nobody. I don't do none of that. You feel what I'm saying? But that's just me. I'm a loner. I mean, I've been crossed hella times and shit. So that shit kind of made me like that. 
I love a nigga from a distance. You feel what I'm saying? Same shit I could see that I could be like, I could fuck with him. I might see some shit that'll turn me off from a nigga. So I'm like, ah, you know, I'm gonna keep my distance. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna love you from over here. You know what I mean? That's it. But you know, it's niggas that I call my brother. We grew up together. I might not like everything they do. They might not be built like I'm built. That don't mean I'm not gonna love them the same. You feel what I'm saying? As long as they don't do no shit to violate. You know what I mean? I, I call it like the cardinal rules. You feel what I'm saying? Like they ain't tell, they ain't rape no bitches, they ain't do no fuck shit like that. You know what I mean? Other shit is forgivable. I be falling out with my niggas all the time because they don't chase their dream. You feel what I'm saying? My young niggas and shit, I be unfollowing them and we be fake beefing. Like it'll never be to the point where like it's violence, but you know, I get mad at niggas. I be wanting the best. You feel me? It's like a nigga showing me he could do some shit and then he like lacking on it. Like I ain't doing that. You know what I mean? Nigga I play you. ball and drop 40. But then he coming outside doing stupid shit. He's like, I can't fuck with you. I feel like if I entertain you doing the goofy shit, do I really care about you? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm only want the best for you. So it's like, every time you come around, it's like, yo, what's up? You doing this? Ah, uh, you know, I'm trying. All right, fuck that. You doing this? All right. They priorities in the wrong place. I think a lot of niggas get distracted by bitches. They'll never admit it. But it. I feel like the in hip hop, because that's my culture. That's what I grew up on. My father was a rapper too. Yeah. And that's how I got into it. But uh, they they literally train you and tell you, chase the money over the bitches and niggas still don't get it. Yeah. Do you got any advice for the young niggas that's dealing with the women? Maybe they in the streets and they getting attention. Like, you got any advice for the young niggas on that? And that shit just a learning experience. I can't even hold you. <laughs> nah, for real. Like, you know, I, I pride myself on saying I don't got all the answers. This is one of them answers I don't even okay, got. Okay, girl. okay. I, I wouldn't know what to tell a nigga. Like, yo, don't chase bitches, chase money. You know what I mean? I wouldn't know what to tell a nigga. You feel me? Uh, they already heard the shit a, a bunch of times. You feel me? But I could honestly say that uh, for me in my life, like, a lot of women in my life actually upgraded me. You feel what I'm saying? So I can't really say, like, don't chase the bitches. Or, you know what I mean? I don't, don't chase the hoes, maybe. You feel me? But there's some good women that, like, they... They they sharp. You, yeah, yeah you feel you what I'm saying? They make you a, a better man. Yeah, you dig what I'm saying? So, when you know, in that sense, it's like, shit, if I would have never chased this and stumbled this, I don't know. Like, yeah, we all live our own life. We all got our own journey. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'd be like, I can't direct a nigga to do no right or wrong shit. I would tell a nigga don't be spending all his money on no bitches, though. That's the stupidest shit ever. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you that. Feel what I'm saying? I agree with that. There's a lot of niggas going out bad fucking these packs up because they tricking on these bitches. I agree with that. Um, so, speaking of, of of bread and and money and all that, you know, niggas like to flash it. They like to wear certain stuff, and yeah. and I don't knock nobody, but uh, um, let's say you 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 have a son that's already like about 18, 19 years old. What's what's some advice that you'll give him? He just graduated high school, and he's maybe getting into the streets or getting into the workforce or, or even going to college. It's, it's mad different shit that you could do out here. But what's your advice for him to maneuver through these streets? He's fresh, 18 years old. Yeah. It's hard as a black man growing up in America, you feel me? Like, this shit ain't really, you know, this shit ain't really, uh, it ain't really cut for us. You know what I mean? We deal with a lot of adversity just being born. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So you could be qualified and you ain't qualified. So... I'm going to just, you know, I'll probably just tell him don't let the nose get to you, man. You know what I'm saying? God going to open the doors however he see fit. Just don't let the niggas telling you no or turning you down get to you. Because, you know what I mean? That shit could be, that shit could be depressing and stressful. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so, being where we from, I, I feel like I can relate to you a lot. Um. I got some fun questions that I wanted to ask you too that they didn't really want to ask, uh, and and I I feel like it's, you ain't want to ask them. It's my a, boy Benz ain't want to ask the question. It's, it's I feel like it's appropriate. If it's a dumb question, let me know. But nah, let's get. I know it. you you be out and you maneuvering and yeah. you doing your thing or whatever. When you real busy and you in the G ride, huh? what's what's what spot are you stopping at to get some real quick eats? Like, is it a spot in Patterson that you would shout out? Like, yo, they make. They treat me right every time. Like, what's your go-to eats? I'm saying I'm a hood nigga, man. I stop at anybody corner store, no cap, and get a sandwich. That's just how I am. The I'll sandwiches get a from the and yeah. cheese from from, from pop. Yo, from the deli. I don't understand them why them sandwiches always taste better than the sandwiches you make yourself. Like, nah, yeah. they. I get a sandwich ASAP. 
Like, uh, Sandwich, uh, water. I used to fuck with the Arizona iced teas. I stopped fucking with you. I see you be on the working out tip too. Um, yeah, you, structure. I, yeah. Uh, how'd you get into that? I don't know. I've been working out since a kid and shit. <clears throat> um, yeah, like, I can't even tell you what exact day. I've been working out for a minute though. Probably like, I was like nine, ten years old. I started working out. I was, I was going to uh, Lou Costello on 20th Ave and shit. They used to have a boxing gym. It was free for us in the hood and shit. If you lived in the neighborhood. So okay, okay. It was free. They don't got a lot of shit like that no more in Patterson, though. Like programs and shit for kids to just go to for free. You think that's good for the for the young men though? Uh hell yeah, we need that. Back when I was growing up, yeah, you had camps everywhere. You heard? You had it. I used to live on Summer Street. You had a camp right there in the park on Market Street. It was free to go to. You feel me? Under the bridge on uh on spring and 21st, it was a camp to go to. I used to live by River Street. I used to go to fucking school 18 and shit. They used to have it was to be free to I used to play for the all wags and shit. It was free to go to. Now, there ain't none of that shit now. <clears throat> that don't be shit for the kids to do. You feel me? You played, uh, I, I don't recall that team that you just mentioned. Baseball. But, oh, baseball. Okay, okay. That's the only sport you play? You play other nah, sports too? I don't know. Boxing. Uh, Luke Costello, boxing. Oh, yeah. I, I knew that. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Boxing, baseball, basketball. I never was really that good in basketball. You feel me? I got my shit up a little bit in jail. I started bowling hard and shit. But never really good in basketball. Football, I was a beast. Sorry. Is there anything that you learned from jail that you didn't learn on the outside world? Hell yeah, it's a lot of shit I learned in jail. Can you elaborate on that? Structure, uh, discipline, uh, standing on your own two feet, just being a man, like that shit really, like I, you know, they, they paint the picture of, of jail as like this, this uh, horrible, crazy place. And it is because you're taking away from your family, you feel me? But you around other gangsters, you know what I mean? And niggas got morals. Niggas ain't savages. You know what I mean? Niggas got honor. So it's like certain shit that you just can't live on. Like in jail, if you a liar, niggas gonna label you as a liar. And that's I, gonna be I was name. just having a conversation about that. And I, I never been to jail before, but yeah. um I, I'm a I'm I'm a nerd at heart. I'm a nerd at heart that Me too. Uh, that's good. I, I read yeah. shit. I, I've been on the computer since that shit came out. I remember days. In my grandmother's basement, when YouTube came out, I was all over that shit. I knew who Soulja Boy was before everybody knew who he was. So I'm I'm a nerd at heart, and I I I got a lot of niggas that been to jail, and they and they all saying the same thing that you saying. They yeah. they, they became disciplined. They became uh they became a man. Honestly, nah, yeah, that's childish shit. Get cut out. That's it. You locked up with niggas that's different ages. You feel me? When you out here, you know you you and your teens. 18, 19, you know, niggas playing, doing goofy shit. You get around some older niggas, they ain't moving like that. Like, ah, he's playing too much. This shit's serious. So niggas start, you know what I mean, adapting and moving this way. You feel me? And that shit'll just grow you up. That's it. Absolutely. Man, so you gotta find out who you is for sure. I'm I'm glad you uh you coming out and you know you you making the right adjustments. You you really doing your thing with this rap. I was playing some of your music for the last few days and I'm like, yo. This shit, this shit is right. It sound good. Um, yeah, I'll be snapping. How, how, my shit. Have you ever, like me being an artist, every other day I used to feel like I'm done with this shit. Have you ever got into that bag where you're like, man, is there anything else I could do with my life? Because yeah. this shit is <clears throat> draining me. Yeah, I do. I do. This shit depressing as hell. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say a lot of you. Like, I invest my own money in this shit. It's hard when you know you nice, you know what I mean? But the process slow. You feel me? Last year, like I said, last year I spent like 92000 on paper, on music. I ain't make 92000 back. And that's just on paper, you know what I mean? Traveling wow. and all this shit like that. That shit costs money too. Wow. These videos, 2200 2500 So yeah, it get depressing because you like, damn, like, you feel me? You, you like, y'all got the product, like... If I was ass, I know I'm ass. I won't even, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I never been a nigga that was like considered ass. I was always the nicest, like in jail, out, whatever. So it was like, damn, I got the product. What the fuck is it? You feel me? Like, why the shit moving so slow? Like, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but I just think that, I don't know. I mean, I ain't think God time, and I just try to keep that thought in my head. Like, but hell yeah, I be wanting to quit this shit all the time. I just made a post. Like, I mean, I'm retiring from this shit. You feel me? Because, nigga, I got three kids. 
you know what I could do with ninety two thousand dollars, bro? <laughs> nah, for real. And you, it's crazy because you. You, you don't even know you spending that money. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like me, I ain't even realize I was spending that money because it's not in one shot. So you might spend money this time, this time, this time, this time, and it's just back to back. You pay for a video, then you pay to get on a show, and you got to book a fight, play for the hotel, wardrobe. Before you know it, you're like, damn, I spent every eh. Should be. I feel you on that. I feel you. Um, so I, I follow your page. Don't get me don't get me wrong if I'm mistaken, but I think you was out in L.A. What where you you just came back from Grammys? Grammys, okay. Yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure you met a lot of people, artists, rappers, actors, all of that. And um, yeah. you probably had some conversations with them. Is there anything that a rapper has told you or someone that, you know, is considered successful in America? Have they dropped some game on you? Uh, Not really. No, nah, I can't even say that. Most Damn. of the rappers I talk to and shit, you know, niggas try to keep their secrets to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't really try to put nigga on nothing. That's the problem so, out here, man. So, and that's from niggas that's rapping locally to niggas that's in the game. You feel me? I talked just, to the nigga Kid Camp. That nigga was like, man, you know, they just want hits type shit. Like, just got to make some catchy shit. It might not be the shit you feel, but it just got to be some catchy shit. That's about it. You feel me? Everybody else, I chopped it up with shit. I wasn't even chopping it up on no rapper shit. You feel what I'm saying? You niggas met me as a trapper. I got in that party as a trap nigga. I ain't getting in as a rap nigga. Heard you. Heard you. What's um your goals for this year? <sighs> saying my case over, I go get sent this April 5th. So that shit out the way. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, man. The sky's the limit, man. It's only February. I just was in the Grammys and I was in a party I wasn't even supposed to be in. Just know, starting off the year. Y'all hear that? Grammys. <laughs> Nigga from Patterson, bro. Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah. Small ass town. At the Grammys. If that don't inspire y'all, I don't, I don't know what I could tell y'all. Like, nah. That shit good. I don't know. Whatever God got for me, I'm just waiting for that shit. Like, I'm, I'm excited. You feel what I'm saying? I'm excited for this year. I feel like this shit gonna pop for me. I've always felt like... <laughs> Where I'm from, God has been forgotten. How how is God a part of your life? God is my life. I'm a man of God. I, I don't give a fuck what I do. I don't care how much street shit. I don't give a fuck what my name is. I don't care if you hear the good or the bad. And I did some evil shit in my life. But God a part of my life. You feel me? That's it. A lot of people don't understand that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, sinners. And we all make mistakes. Ain't nobody perfect, man. So, you know, I just I just keep that keep that in hindsight. Like, that's it. I thought he was gonna ask me about like I thought he was gonna talk about girls and shit too. Oh no, we can get into that. We I just get... wanted to say like shout to the big girls, cause on my Instagram is always the big girls that show me love. So you gotta <laughs> nah for real, you feel me? And I appreciate them. You know what I mean? Cause some females be thinking they too fucking like Percy to repost a nigga. All the big girls, I love y'all. You know what I mean? BBWs and all the cougars because y'all show love too. I love all y'all. You feel me? What do you look for in a female? Like, let these females know how to get a nigga and retain him because I believe that's the job of a female. We supposed to get the interest of the female, but after that, they got to keep us there because, you know, we fuck, we out. So yeah. how, do you, how do they keep a nigga? I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> I don't, I don't what know you look for in a female? Question. I don't even know the answer to that question. <laughs> Y'all look for a lot. I'm picky yourself. You feel what I'm saying? For real. A lot of shit would be turning me on and then a, she could turn me off. And I'll just be like, I don't know. I get bored fast. You know, you, you know what I mean? Like, absolutely. I'll absolutely. be interested for a little while. And then I don't know. I got this thing with me where sometimes we're like, I'll be interested in the chick. And then like right after our nut and like right after we fucking our nut, it's like I look at it and be like, I'm what out the of fuck? Yeah, like, you <laughs> what? <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, like absolutely. this. I just be looking. I be like, damn, that's all it was about. It was just really just to chase. You feel what I'm saying? But I have met uh, a woman in my life that like captured my, captivated my attention and shit like that. You feel me? Okay, okay. So you but, got one of those that make that makes you a better man. Yeah, yeah. A woman can make you a better or a worse man. You feel what I'm saying? Because they control your heart if you give it to them. You know what I mean? So if she nagging you and shit, she probably gonna make you stumble and. Crash, you feel me? But if she playing her part, you'll be sharp as hell, you feel me? Sensational. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Um, 
So when it comes to the shorties, what you think is the the mentality of the shorties where we from? Like you think they on the right path or like what would you tell your daughter at 18, 19 years old, some advice of her getting out here and maneuvering through these streets or through college or shit like that? Yeah, she got to stay in school. She got to just focus on, um, you know, the betterment of herself. You feel what I'm saying? I, I can always, you know, try to tell my... You said my daughter. So it's a little different when I, you say that. Look, I, of course. Saying? Yeah, of course. For my daughter, you got to put the armor. Ain't nothing going on. You <laughs> <baby? laughs> but um, See, that's what I'm saying. Niggas need yeah. fathers, man. Nah, you, for like, real. So, you know what I mean? Niggas do need fathers, too. And a lot of niggas ain't got no fathers, man. A lot of niggas just be trying to pick niggas with money and call them daddy. Shit right <laughs> out of them. But like my you ain't daughter, never lie. My daughter, she just yeah, she got you know she got to I'm gonna be there with her regardless if she make mistakes or not. You feel me? I think that is just my job to just be there every step of the way. Okay. Like being there, and you know I got a teenage daughter now. Like um, I always just try to hear her out. You feel me? Because they always gonna have an opinion, and they always gonna feel like they right. You feel me? But it's it's not my job to riff at her. It's my job to guide her. You feel me? So. I try to hear her out, and then I just try to walk with her. You feel what I'm saying? And I keep that. You know, me and my daughter got a different relationship. Like, our, our honesty a little different because the life I live, you can't lie about it too long. You know what I mean? I used to lie to my daughter. Like, I was in college and shit like that, but I'm in jail, mm. and I was away. So it's like, after that shit, I came home. I just, me and my daughter keep, like, a open book. Like, gotcha. daddy, you I, in the street? That's the reason I, I ain't that. in the street no more. I respect that. I respect that. He... Look, he said he dropping the streets for his family. Like that yeah, shit. Bro. I dropped them shit already. I ain't in the street no more. You heard? Let's go for any one of you DAs, informants, <laughs> any behind in the street no more. You feel where I'm saying? from? Niggas saying shit like that. That shit. They look at that shit as not cool. But I respect that shit to the like highest that. extent. Um, so still with the shorties. Um, yeah. I, I like believe. I believe. Uh, men should get their body count up because. Shorties never express how they feel. You got to get your experience up to, you know, know the shorties out here. Yeah. Um, would you say that... I, they going to hate how I'm, I'm coming off, but would you say that... Fuck that, just come most off. Most girls are more alike? Like, once you mess with 10 to 15, they, you pretty much know what it is? Or would you say... It's still some special ones out here that's like, yo, like it's a diamond in the rough. Let me, yeah, like, what you think? Yo, no bullshit. Um, <clears throat> I be feeling like these bitches be clones. Pardon me for saying bitches, <laughs> but now, nah, like, y'all feel like you have, you know, you can fuck with a chick and be like, feel like you dating Instagram. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, this bitch got a meme. You know, she know how to quote this and the, like, and the, they all the baby hairs, yeah, everybody the, doing the, the exact same shit. So I'd be like. Damn, you feel me? Like the I had you makeup. Yeah, like how I you feel about you makeup? Before. You like a natural female or, <clears throat> or uh, a, a girl that you know dress dress up yeah. more often? I like a natural female. You know what I mean? But I like a girl that get dolled up too, because I like to go out. You know, I like to do a lot of shit. You feel me? So when when we go on occasions, of course, I want a female that could put that shit together. You feel absolutely, me? Absolutely, absolutely. Like when she walk in the room, you know what I mean? Just uh. But then you know, I also want a girl that I don't even. You know, care about that shit too tough. Like we in the house, she in sweats, regular. She naturally beautiful. You feel what I'm saying? What's something that um I'm pretty sure you're you're similar to me where you've been in the situation where you had a shorty and she she did some disloyal shit or or crossed a certain boundary, and then you've also been on the other side of the dark side where like cheating and shit. You out here in these streets and you fuck a bitch and you find out. She had a nigga the whole time. Like, what's a lot of niggas out there still believe that these bitches is innocent and pretty and never did nothing. Niggas what's, don't think that no more. Yeah. Oh, I, right, right. ain't yeah. no way in hell niggas think that no more. Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> ain't no way, boy. <laughs> hey, yo, nah, look, right, real shit. Um, yeah, I've, I've been on both ends of that of that situation and shit. You feel me? I don't have my heart broken numerous times and shit. That's, that shit kind of made me who I am. I feel like when you young. You be more eager to get committed to a girl, and then they be young, so they try and bounce around. You feel what I'm saying? They fucking with this nigga, that nigga. So then, when you when you get older and you turn your savage up, you feel me? And now they older. Now they trying to settle down. It's like you know what I mean? Like nah, when you was when you was in your prime, you was out here. You know me having me go through the most, bouncing Absolutely. around, weighing Absolutely. your options. You feel me? Absolutely. You was right. They'll never admit it, but. Men are supposed to be the providers. We're supposed to be the security. So when you just get out of school and you 18, 19 years old, 
what, bitches ain't looking for us. They're not checking for us. That's another reason why a lot of niggas get in the street. Like, I just turned 30 and they treat me much more nice now because, you know, I got a little bit more stability. But yeah. the, the problem is their prime is at that time, 18, 19 years old. They could get any nigga they want. All they got to do is yeah. act nice. And that's why they don't be ready to settle down. Like, our prime is more later in life when we we building up. and Yeah, they got to go through shit. It's like a phase, you feel what I'm saying? Like, they, people try to call it, like, the whole phase. I just call it experiment, you feel me? Them, some girls got to go through that shit. Like, they get attention. You know, attention is, is a motherfucker. Like, fame is a drug. Attention is a motherfucker. Absolutely. So, you know what I mean? A girl get a lot of attention. She going to feel like her options is whatever the case may be. But once you once you go over here and then this nigga might hit you and tag you and then this nigga might do this and do that, you feel what I'm saying? And, it, you know, they get to the point where, like, uh, they get experienced enough. Like, I don't want this. I don't want this. You know, they know what they want in a nigga. But sometimes that shit be like, all right, but you had to go through all that. Mm-hmm. Go through all that malice mm-hmm. to get that. You feel mm-hmm. me? To get that knowledge and shit. Bro. Yeah, like, that's how I be feeling. Like, like I said, they need some motherfucking fathers. Because if I had a daughter, I'd be like, look, look, you. I know you're going to be out here fucking and shit. But keep your motherfucking body count low. Niggas talk. The way you dress, yeah. that's how we perceive you. I'm a nigga. I know how it is. You got the tight booty shorts on. All I'm thinking about is Fucking. I'm not thinking about no marriage, no none of that. What's the, what's the, what's the difference between a hoe and a shorty that you could possibly make your girl? Uh I'm gonna be I'm be I'm be real with you like um uh, I can't I can't I can't differentiate that. That's the that's the word, right? Differentiate. I you what? I can't uh yo look. I I done met some hoes that was like a hundred. You feel what I'm saying? I met some girls that was good girls that turned into hoes later on. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So mm. I just think is that you know wherever they at in their life. You feel me? But for me, I just you gotta accept. You gotta know who I am and like rock with me. You know what I mean? Got gotcha. you. Because I don't think my life uh probably uh, fit a perfectly good girl. She probably won't understand the shit I do or understand how to you know how to hold me at night or. Embrace my, you know what I mean? My demons, because, you know, There's niggas a lot go of through stuff shit. Going yeah. through your mind and all of that coming yeah, you home to I'm the saying? nagging and nah, she gotta know. Yeah, like, she gotta know. Like, so I think, I think that, you know what I mean? I think just think is that I don't like calling females hoes because after my daughter, I got two daughters. You feel what I'm saying? And then it's like, ah, oh, I don't be wanting to put that, put that negative, you know what I mean? I feel you. I definitely feel them. you, but. You feel, but you are what you are. If you exactly. a hoe, just be a good one. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Nah, for real. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? If that's what you is, just accept it. I just hate I just hate when girls be hoes and then when you be like, yo, you know what I mean? You moving like a hoe and then they get mad. Yeah. Like, you just told me you fucked three niggas, you feel me, in last week and a half. Like, you what? So, be like, you know what I mean? Damn, here, like, you don't gotta, you gonna go through this and get through that. You know what I mean? But it just, it just be like that. I don't know. Uh, What's, what's a, um, you got like a certain type of style or a hairstyle or um, vibe that a shorty could have like that that attracts you. I like shorties that got the, the short hair, the 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 Holly Berry hair. I don't know. That do something for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What right, like, right. what, what you Holly look Berry. Like when it comes physically like? I don't got no type. Okay. All right. All right. I like intelligence. Like when I start talking to somebody, uh, if they could carry a conversation intellectually, and then I'll just be, I'll be intrigued from there. You okay. Know what I'm saying? All right. All right. All right. Cause I done ran across some girls that probably be like, they look good, and as soon as they start talking to me, I'm like, this bitch, get her away from me. You feel what I'm saying? Look, straight airheads, that. you know what I mean? I hear that. She told me a cash app in person one time. Losing. What's the, what's the petty? I'm gonna use they word. What's the pettiest reason that you stop talking to a chick? I'm gonna give you an example. I was dealing with a chick, chick we in the car, or whatever. I ain't hit yet though, but you know I'm getting to know her and all that. Yeah. And in the conversation, I don't know how it came up, but this bitch told me she don't like drinking water. I was like, all right, it's a dub. Like, <laughs> it's it's a dub. Like, I, in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to keep it cordial, but I, it's no way I'm fucking with you. What's the... So, yeah. what's the... Wait, you ain't hit? No. Hell, oh, shit. Nah. You got to see that through. Nah, nah, no. You got to see that through, though. Water. Th- we made of water. Nah, so for real. If she, and, and she a female. She you know, probably had got... that diabetic sweet what? thing, though. You what? never know. <laughs> that thing could have been sugar down there. You know what I'm saying? 
You I break, I break out from too much sugar, so I don't even need that. I, I don't even need that. I'm working out my skincare. Yeah. Nah, um, so what's the pettiest reason that you you had to know, drop man. a shorty? You gotta you gotta ask them because this girl is gonna say I do a lot of shit. They say I'm petty as hell. I be block. I block. You know what I mean? I, I, my time in my life where I was like outside, I used to be just blocking bitches for anything. <laughs> I mean, for real, block block them for whatever. Like I don't even want to talk to you no more. Double them. You know what I mean? I never was really like too pressed on. Uh, let me get this girl and shit like absolutely, that. Absolutely, like, absolutely. I was always about my money anyway. So I hear that. I hear that. But yeah, I I I double check for whatever though. Especially the prettier ones. Like when a girl's really, really bad and they start acting like they got all the options, I will let you go exercise all them other options. <laughs> like, cat, you know what I mean? How you think Sensation. social media has affected a woman's psyche? Like you think, so all right, let me put it like this. I could still remember a time when I was in high school. I was a sophomore, I believe, and MySpace came out. And somebody came up to me, one of my good friends at the time, I'm not going to say his name, but he came up to me and he was like, yo, you, I was one of those, I don't need the internet, like, da, da, da. So he was like, yo, you need to get on MySpace. Every shorty in this school is up there. All you got to do is get on there and send them a message, start talking. I looked at him like, nigga, this bitch is right here in school. Like, what yeah. the fuck do I need to go on social media for? So how do you think from all of those years, that was like 15 years ago. Yeah. How you think Instagram and Snapchat and all those these things where you know you could post yourself and get validation from it. How you think that has affected the woman's psyche? Um, I don't know, because that shit could be unbalanced. I feel like some girls be, you know, they get a lot of attention. Niggas is hornballs. You dig what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, you, you go to porn sites and porn Absolutely, videos yeah. be 25 million views Absolutely, on yeah, the video. Yeah. Niggas is hornballs. You feel me? So, you know what I mean? If they, you know, they want that kind of attention and uh, to, you know, I guess to to you know um like validate who they is then I don't know but I also know that you know you got a lot of girls that might be pretty on Instagram and <sighs> the girls that you know they might see them and think that that's how they got to be you feel what I'm saying so it be, be it be a lot I think every girl uh regardless if she is 6 or 1 or 5 or 10 got at least 10 niggas in her DMs you feel what, I'm what? Saying? It, it depends on talk the night. To him. You, you saying, talk bro. to him. I know when I was outside, I done slid in a couple fours DMs. You heard the Remy. You what? Yeah, no cap. Out here, in the, out here in these streets. You, I used to play Lucky 7. You with, you with, your, right, you with your right hand. You with your bro. It could be younger days because I know you said you don't, you, don't, yeah. you don't really fuck with niggas like that. But you with your bro. You outside. You just finished business or whatever. Three things that you need. When you going to pick up a shorty and you know since you got these three things, she's going to do whatever she, you you de, you desire. What's those three things that you need to open up Damn, a shorty? He put the old time clock. I don't even know. You <laughs> definitely got to have some money with you. Cause you gonna have some money with you because you're going to, you know what I mean? I'm taking her somewhere. Definitely got to have uh, protection. I mean, we probably could buy protection depending on what we're going. So I don't know if you got to bring that. I don't know what kind of we talking like, huh, bitch? What kind of, it's right. different kind of girls out here. It is. It's, yeah. Some bitches you got to pull up with the bottle. You know what yeah, I mean? That's what I was going to say. Some, yeah, some like, girls you got to pull up with the bottle. You know what I mean? Some girls you got to pull up with the red carpet treatment. You don't even bring none of that. You just come over there, fly. You feel what I'm saying? And give them that, that you know, that let me open your door. Let me take you out. Let me take you to a nice restaurant type shit like that. And, um... It all it all leads to the same thing. Don't get it twisted. You feel me? At the end of the day, you know, I'm trying to fuck, but it just be how certain girls respond. You feel me? Absolutely. The thing Absolutely. is, when you take a chick from the hood, though, and you bring her to the red carpet treatment, that's how you get their heart. You blow their mind like that. And nobody never do that. Absolutely. I yeah. used to do that shit all the time. Shit. Girl they, from the hood. They love, they love yeah. the clout. They love uh just yeah. Escaping from being where they from, yeah. escaping that nine to five, right. escaping them kids. You know, these bitches be out here trying still be 21 and they be 29. So no, fast. I, Hold I, on two seconds. So I feel that. Hello? I'm in the middle of a podcast, mama. You heard me? Yeah, I heard you. All right, I love you. I'll call you right back. Yeah. <clears throat> um I got a, a nice little famous question that we Usually ask the shorties up here. I want to see what you think about it. Talk to them. 
Do you think men and women can really be platonic friends, like a uh, actual beneficial friendship on both sides, no sex? Nope. I, nope. Every female friend I ever had, either I hit or she tried to make me hit. <laughs> so I can't even say that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm right with you on that, I man. They be, they be trying. They be trying. Um, I can do business with females, though. I do definitely do a lot of business with absolutely, females. And absolutely. I keep it strictly business. I don't, you know what I mean? Cross the line. But as far as like a friendship where like we, you know, we chilling intimately and indulging and oh, hell no. Going out to eat and all that. Now, I don't know. At the end of the day, I, mean, yeah. I know who I am. And especially if the bitch is attractive, the, the shorty, yeah. I'm trying to fuck. That's just what it is. We could be friends after we fuck. You ain't going to be friends after you have sex. If it's good, you're going to want some more. Absolutely. Absolutely. But <coughs> it, it's those situations, you know, the friends with benefits and shit like that. Yeah. You could think you my friend, but you not really my friend. Like, I'm coming crazy. <laughs> the only way it could possibly only happen <laughs> is, <laughs> only way it could possibly happen is, like well, you said, in business. If we're doing some yeah. business together, then I, I, I'll i make an effort to not see you as an option, but... Other than that, yeah. I meet Shorty in the gym. I get her number. I ain't trying to be your friend. I'm not trying to talk on the phone with you. I ain't trying to do none of that shit. We need to fuck. That's what. That's yeah. that's the that's that's how. That's just how I always live my life. Um, yeah, I be yeah. I don't. I never yeah. Like I said, I never. Uh, I had some like female friends, but those was always like, you know, if I see a girl is off limits, then she could be my female friend. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Like my brother girl. She could be my female friend because automatically in my mind, she off limits. Absolutely. Like that's your girl and it's like, she already off limits. That's sis. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. But she ain't going to be like, we ain't going to be buddy-buddy though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you ain't going to be over here talking to me about bro and none of that shit. But we could be like cordial. You feel me? I don't want to say friends. I had a I had a shorty up here on the last episode and she said, this nigga that she knew since third grade, her best friend, they slept in the same bed together and didn't do nothing. And I'm like, that's weird to me. And she was saying, how is it weird? And I'm like, if I'm sleeping in the bed with you, then that's already a boundary that's crossed. If I had a girl and I told her, Since I'm going- third grade though? Yeah. Probably but, see each other like brother and sister. Absolutely. Though. Absolutely. But, but say you got your, your shorty or whatever it is. And she tell you, she going to go hang out with whoop de whoop and end up spending the night by his crib. Do you think that's a boundary that's being crossed? Like, I understand she knows- Knock my bitch out if she talks <laughs> stupid shit like that. Sleeping with no motherfucking body crib. You bringing your ass home. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? They she got the game backwards even, out here, she bro. She won't even try to even say no, fix her face to say no stupid shit like that. They I'm got this shit this backwards out here, make bro. It over I here. swear. I swear they stay backwards out nah, here. But if she's single, though, you feel me? Then I. Right. But if she in a relationship and she did that- <clears throat> nah, I ain't rocking with that. Yeah, absolutely. I don't absolutely. even trust, you know what I mean? Because, you know, he could be gay and still boundaries get crossed. Yeah. I don't fuck all that. I feel we ain't you doing none that. of that. I feel you on that. Um, I, don't know. I know the summer coming up. Uh, weather's about to get real nice. I love seeing a, a shorty in a sundress and shit like uh, that. I love a sundress. What's uh? You 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 just leaving the gym or you you know you you jugging and you you. You out and about, and you you see a shorty walking down the street. What's something that she wearing that's like, yo, I gotta go talk to her? I don't know. I like crop tops. I like I like a girl with a crop top on. It's like some like a nice body. I don't know. Be I got I got a thing for her chicks. Like I like bamboo earrings and like okay gold okay chains all right all right. I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? I love a hood chick. So I, I guess they swag be a, a girl that's fly. Her sneaker game and all that shit together. I'll be like, what out of us? See, yeah, I, I I respect that, but I'm not like that. I like my shorty to dress like a female. Like, I, I mean, but that's because I'm not a dude that, you know, wear, I got probably like five pairs of shoes I, and I wear the same shoes. They all just regular shoes. I keep them clean, but I don't really like the sneakerhead shorties like that. You like a sneakerhead shorty? Yeah, I fuck with them. I, I like all okay. kind of women. You feel what I'm saying? I like, different women bring different things to the table. Absolutely. <clears throat> but I love, I'm, I, you know, I like sneakers. So that's like a, you know what I mean? A common interest. When okay. I was growing up, I couldn't afford sneakers and shit, so I used to always like sneakers and shit. I feel you. I feel you. I love a chick that, that got a good sneaker game. I mean, but she can have some Air Force Ones on. As long as she fly, she cool. You feel me? I fuck with her. Word up. 
You pay a nice pair of heels too. You pulling up to a shorty crib, and 20 minutes before you like, make me that dish you know I like, and have it hot and ready. What's something that a shorty could cook that like you like? Yo, like this shit get me every time. Yeah, you know it's crazy because. If a girl can't cook eggs the right way, she disqualified. <laughs> no cap. How you like the eggs? Ah, I like my shits. I like my shits. Uh, fry hard. You okay, feel what I'm okay, saying? okay. I don't. I like my shits fry hard, but I don't. I like a little bit of yolk in the middle. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I don't, I don't like scrambled eggs. And I don't like sunny side up eggs. I like fry hard. I can fuck with the sunny side up eggs. I like them. I don't know. I like, I like scrambled eggs too, hard. but I can fuck with the sunny side. Yeah, I can fuck with all of them if she if she make them right. But if she can't make Eggs fry hard. She ain't the one for me. So you sound like you you a breakfast dude. You love breakfast. All right. So all I can right. eat breakfast all day long. All right. French all right. toast. Yeah, it's something about syrup. I just I don't know. <laughs> Heard up. Bring syrup to the bedroom on. It's cat wailing. Nasty nigga. What's wailing. the wildest shit? <laughs> What's the oh, wildest yeah, shit fuck. that you you ever did? In the bedroom, like some some Ain't crazy. Ain't off limits. I'ma eat everything. Okay, I'm okay. Wow, I, I respect it. If, it's, if she mine, man, we. Do. I done tied my bitch up before. <laughs> know what I mean? Nah, for real. Yo, the shorties like that. Y'all, y'all need to get that through your head. Like the shorties like shit like that. Stop trying. Stop being in this closet. Oh, okay. What do you want? Nah, the shorties love when a nigga is in control. You could tell how I move. I'm just like outspoken. I ain't really shy, so ain't no ain't no way in hell in the bedroom I'm gonna be like, we gonna be, you know what I mean? That shit gotta be spicy. That shit gotta be a whole adventure. You gotta Absolutely. walk out that bitch sweating, tired, <laughs> cramp, just need fluids. I'm trying, you feel me? She need an IV when I'm that. done with that. You know, and we go to the gym, so it ain't like I'm a nigga that's like, you know, I get exhausted and I be in that bitch everywhere. I mean, I be trying to do new moves and shit. Put her on the ceiling. Absolutely, absolutely. You ain't never put your girl on the ceiling before? Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm getting there, but I'm not. <laughs> I ain't strong enough for that. Picking the bitches up and all that. It's only one time that I ever did that, and this shorty was like five put foot. Put her on the ceiling. She was like five foot, so I'm, I'm trying to get my weight up. And also, yeah. I've noticed looking back at all of the shorties that I fucked with, at least the ones that I took seriously, all three of them was taller than me. It was only one girl that I took seriously that, I, like, we actually had a title that was shorter than me. But yeah. I, I guess I'm a nigga that like to climb trees. Cause yeah. They, I like they, a tall thing, too. I like a short thing. I don't know. I got no type, but I got a couple tall Amazons in the... <laughs> mm-hmm. No cap. I hear that. You know what's that. crazy about the Amazons, though? Because they, you would think, like, they big, so it's like... They be the ones that ball up easy. Though. What? You dig what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Look. Like an Amazon ball up easy. I think because niggas, they don't really be that experienced. Niggas don't really try to climb them trees. Absolutely. I get in there, mm, I ball the branches up on that top. Come here, put your eyes. That's a fact. <laughs> be and well. then you meet the little, the, the little petite shorty, they be bunny rabbits, bro. Like, they be, yeah. I be having to be like, yo, where my water at? Because they could go on and on and on forever. Usually, like, the girls that you know got a fat ass, whatever. You think you about to go in there like, I got to put in some work. I got to have yeah. my water on my side. But they can't even take the dick. But the small ones, yeah. they be like, I'm waiting for round two. Like, are, yeah. you, are you ready again yet? Cause I like, never met a chick like that, man. I'm hyperactive, so I don't know. All my bitches be tapping out. <laughs> Every girl I ever had. They be like, bro, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Born with Viagra in my system or something. <laughs> it's that nigga. gym, honestly. It's that gym. Nah, I'm trying to tell niggas there. be high yourself. I'm trying right? to tell niggas get, get your weight up, get in there and do do that little cardio. A little a little bit every day goes a long way. Like yeah, it, it it improves all areas of your life. Um, bullshit. I think skinny girls probably just a skinny girl. Could I don't know? I feel like she could take a foot though. <laughs> I had some skinny girls. They could take word up. Shit be crazy, like, damn, you feel me? You got to question your own self. Damn. <laughs> Much dick this bitch can take. You know what I mean? Skinny what the fuck you be. been doing? What the fuck you been fucking nah, like? for real, you feel me? God. Have I you second guessing with yourself, with like, God damn, what the fuck with is the like porn that? stars, for real. Whoa. Yeah, they, they, you know, but yeah. I don't know. Other than that, just some skinny girls, like, like two, one or two skinny girls I had. Yeah, but I don't know. Them big girls be balling up shit. 
Yeah, that's definitely a fact. That's you a gotta fact. be careful with Amazons though. Like falling in love. Big girls are trying to knock you the fuck out. You heard? What little girls get feisty? Little girls get feisty, but it's like you little. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you feel me? But an Amazon, you gotta treat her like, hold up, bro. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? You feel what I'm saying? Like, cause one of them shits connect for real. Like, you know what I mean? That shit would be tragic. Your girl knock you out. Boom, bang. Oh, Yo, shit. I, 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 like, I don't think what shorties understand. Fuck? Like, when with men, with, when, you know, when you around your boys, we all got that shit in our mind. Like, I got to respect this dude if he's showing respect for me because at the end of the day, it could always lead to hands or even worse, further than that. I don't think bitches got that in their mind. They don't realize when they talking to a grown man, some of them don't be having no respect, touching you, shoving you, pushing you like, bitch. Yeah, the nah, fuck? they like they born they they got respect. You know what it is? A lot of females was raised with you know not getting you know niggas not hitting them. Yeah. So it and I think that's how you supposed to be. You feel them? Absolutely, saying? absolutely. But all I'm saying is, if she an Amazon. I'm not letting her hit. I'm weaving them shits. <laughs> full <of> Nelson. <laughs> you're not clearing me. You feel me? Because, you know what I mean? I fight. Like, I understand. They only take a good punch. You feel me? And her body weight alone, she shift that thing. That shit would be horrible. And then you know she going to post it. What? Never let that what? shit live down. Every time y'all argue, like, remember that time I knocked you out? Oh, you my gonna goodness. You're going to have to pull up. up to the judge. Like, look. Yeah. Look at her, bro. Like, look at her. She weighed more than me. Like, what you expect? Like, the fuck? I had Not to give it a two piece. Yeah, for real. That should be hard. A big, yeah. Nah, for real though. That's some real shit right there. That's you gotta be careful when you're dealing with an Amazon. Yeah. You feel me? Amazon to clear your shit. Boom, bang. <laughs> that shit ain't no little punches. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, all right. All right. Yo, yeah. I'm I'm so glad you came. This was this I was very you, fun. Um you popping up. Like I said before, I don't know. It's uh, it's up to you. If you up to it. I'm a fan of your music. It, it, yeah. Do you got some some bars for us? It's like I know you probably hate being asked that question. But... Nah, hell no. Nah. I love I love rapping. I'm safe sick right now though. I tell you. Okay, all right. All uh, right. you want some old shit or like some? It don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. Some. I'm just getting into who you are. So whatever you say is gonna be new to me. It's gonna be new to That's them too. Right? So I said um, I said it's wicked shit that go on so forth and so on. Money can't amount to no true love, a soul gone. New nights and lost pawns, cold nights toast on. Effing taking 20% off like a coupon. Mister, I'm gonna stand on business, burgundy suit on. Mister, bring my ball to the court, get my shoot on. Mm. Mister, if you fuck with my family, the whole crew swarm. It's different when you played on that court, you used to hoop on. Home court advantage, but on the road you panic. I could paint you with pictures, blood all over the canvas. Mm. So many homes damaged, so many turned candy. Still photo on a shirt, not the homie in the dirt. Mm. Not the sun put in the earth, can't amount to what it's worth. They gonna take us out of Oh, but fuck the price. I can't afford it. It's some shit that I don't want to buy. Things that I don't want to try. Witnessing the world where my son can't grab a well. A racial profile, not to mention my little girl. Because cops already killing niggas. ER, yeah, they killing niggas. We at where we drilling niggas. How I'm supposed to build with niggas. Admit that I ain't feeling y'all, but right now ain't the time for war. They want us dead. Why get involved? No one day ain't no murder solved. Deplete the number. Cop COVID beef. Genocide among us. Before they hung us, now look at the guns they brung us. Draco choppers, two, two, three bullets. You can forget the doctor. Mm. They held me hostage. I'm caught up with narcotics. No ROR in this system, crooked, making a the profit. Mm. They make it stupid. Low income housing, we can't afford a two. The single mothers, they can't work and watching these kids' computers logging in. Turn us to failures, that's in the fell again. When would this oppression stop? So many times I prayed to God my mother died, feeding her poison shit that's gonna cause a cancer, cloning chickens, mass production. They can't give us answers. Who gonna stand up, be the next Martin Malcolm? We got a man up, know that they outnumber us, strategize and overcome. Why they so afraid of us? Thought they made slaves of us, raped our women, chained us up. Hey, who done made this image up? They training us to hate on us. Pigment versus pigment. You probably wouldn't get it, understand me. It's a figment of my imagination that we could come and be greater or elated with something so rare. Figure we make it. I done came back. Niggas was hating, brought me them chains. Back, lost souls signing them sheets brought me that pain back. Lost members bury my brothers, give me my gang back. No amount of money could alter, fix, or change that. Front is road, cross the street from where them planes at. State numbers, no ID, give me my name back. Mm. Sentence as a king, I'm destined to reign until I lead this earth and until I'm birth saying I'm Sharetta's son. I'm the youngest one, I'm the baby boy, I'm the run. I'm gonna survive, nigga, and overcome. Damn, they gonna hate on this. A lot of niggas got weight on this. So, oh my goodness, y'all. See, look, I'm a rap nigga at heart. I love when a nigga could just, you know, just go, get right. They don't do that no more. I, I respect yeah. the A pressure. I appreciate you coming out. It was 
A pleasure to meet you. you, my boy. For real, for real. This is the Hood Analyst Podcast. We talk that real talk that hood shit. Subscribe to the motherfucking channel. We dropping every Friday and on all other platforms yeah. daily. So, you know, get right. We're going to have a lot more artists in here. He was the first artist to touch down. Like I said... I respect and appreciate him. Number one, you heard? I'll be first. I'll be first on some shit. Feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's a, absolutely. That's a blessing. You know, I got to take him out with the, uh, the motherfucking yeah. motto. Men, keep your motherfucking body count up. <laughs> Women, <laughs> keep your shit low. We out. Hood Analyst Podcast. Hey, buddy. <laughs> My boy said, keep your body count up. <laughs> hey, they want war with hope. Static. Order. Man. Fucking slip. Head. Southside. Savage. Huh, don't say my name. Say my name. That's the part of the game, you'll lose your chain. Don't, lose your shit. Uh, uh, don't say my name. Say Ten thousand bands, right? I let them rank, do a stank, glizzy, pop out.